All right, y'all. It was good, man. I'm Trevor Flame. And uh, yeah. Put myself right up. And yeah, so y'all seen the video I made like almost 15, 20 minutes ago, and it was basically saying how Ric Flair apologized, like apologized to Tony, and if he embarrassed me to AEW, we walk away. So I didn't do my research and why I'm seeing this. And the crazy part, I'm just getting hip to this. All right, last night, Sting, him and Sting was doing a promo at Dynamite and Red Page. It was a taping, right? So when Rick was doing a promo, he was saying how if you don't have no boyfriend, no husband between the ages of 18 and 28, come meet me at my hotel. And then I'm seeing people like, oh, it's a promo. Oh, it's a promo. Oh, it's a promo. Wait one minute. Y'all remember this episode? Give me a second. All right, we all know who this is. This is Dark Side of Ring. This is a, uh, this, I want to say, come on, AEW, or it comes on Vice, whatever it is. It's a show about a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes or stuff that we probably didn't know about when it came to wrestling. If you didn't know, there was sexual assault claim that pop that came about when it came pertains to Ric Flair, meaning that Ric Flair showed that Ric Flair showed or uh, a pilot, a flight attendant. Now I don't lie, I don't know what happened. I don't know if the, Rick and that woman settled in court or whatever. I don't know what happened, but people are mad. Because of this. Number one. Let's get straight to this. Ric Flair is 70 fucking four years old. Why would he even want to say a pro one like that? I understand. Oh, it's he. That's his character. It's not no motherfucker. That's sick. That That's sick, bro. Like, that's, that's sick. Like, okay, we understand. 18 is legal. 18 to 28, yes, that is a legal age. But, Ric Flair, you're 74 years old, bro. Saying some shit like that. Knowing that this happened in the past. No, you shouldn't want to do a promo like that. You shouldn't want pertains. You shouldn't even... That, something like that shouldn't come out of a person's mouth like Ric Flair. Bro. And if you agree with him, like, oh, he was just clowning. He was just joking. You're a fucking groomer just like him. Like, why would he feel the need to say that? No, I see the, I see, I see the outrage and why people are mad. It's time for Ric Flair to go home, bro. It's time for Ric Flair to retire. Seriously. After Sting retired, don't come back. Don't, don't go to, they, maybe he, don't go to TNA, don't go nowhere. Go home and spend time with your grandkids. I think so. I want do Charlotte have grand? Do Charlotte have do Charlotte have kids? I want, go spend time with your family, dog. Go home. You seventy four. Go enjoy life. This sick, no. Like why? Why would you feel the need to say that shit? I had to go do research. I'm thinking like, uh, what he did? I'm I'm scrolling on Twitter. I see this. Like, I, I'm on Twitter, I'm chilling on, um, so I'm scrolling on Twitter, and I see this, I'm like, damn, what Rick did? And he did that shit. Rick, your old ass know better. You, 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 you know better. I understand you love support, staying and all that, but don't let him do promos no more, for, for real. No. Like, <sighs> make sure I follow me, man. Make sure I go to my wide, my bio, alright? But y'all let me know in the comment section, bro. What ma- what will make him say that? Like, I'm, I know some old heads gonna be in the comments, or some Ric Flair fans gonna be, oh man, y'all too sensitive, man, y'all too sensitive. Well, yes, it's a promo, yes, you can say certain shit, but it's like, he should be the last person to say some shit like that. Like, he gotta get to the point where, dog, he should take accountability for what the fuck he did. Take accountability, in which he did, he apologized. But if you're a fan of him and you agreeing that, oh, this is cool to say, no, this not cool. This is some sick shit. He's a groomer. Just like you're probably a groomer if you agree with this shit.